Sup guys, today I'm gonna show you how to make your own inventory system that works the exact same as the basic Roblox hotbar, but you can customize it however you want. So starting off in a new Roblox game, all you have to do is come up to the toolbox, go to my tools, and then drag in this full custom inventory system. Now, if you don't have this system, it's the first link in the description. So all you have to do is click that link and then go over here to get model. And then in your Roblox game, when you click my models, it should be here and you can just drag it in. And to get the system working, all we have to do is open up this folder and then drag this folder here into starter GUI and then just do what it says and ungroup. Then we can just delete the folder up here because we don't really need any of this stuff and now if we go into the toolbox and we go over here and look up tools then we can drag in some random tools to see if the inventory works so i'm just going to drag in these tools and then we can go ahead and click play and let me see if this works so if i walk over everything as you can see we equip all of it and then you can open your inventory close it uh, and i can use the knife as well so if i try and throw it <laughs> uh, we have the flashlight and then you can even drag everything around. So if I want to mix up the, the order of everything, I can drag it into the inventory. And if I want to search for something, say I want to get the knife, only the knife shows up, I can delete that. And then if you guys wanted to customize this system, all you have to do is go over here to this GUI and then open up this script and there's this settings here. And in these settings, there's a bunch of different things that you can change and they're all pretty self-explanatory. So if you wanted to test it out, you can. But say you wanted to customize how the inventory looks, all you can do is just change this tool button. So if I drag this to the hotbar, as you can see, this is how our tool is going to look. So say I wanted to change how all this is organized. So all I have to do is go over here and we can like move this around. You can change the settings however you like. And just make sure if you're changing the color of the background or anything that you make sure you change these values. And another cool thing about this script is that if I come up here, I can go to this pizza. And if I go under this attributes, I can add an attribute called amount. And then if I set this to a number, I can set an amount of pizza that you can hold in your hand. So if I set this to like 10, and then if we go ahead and play the game and then we walk over this pizza, as you can see, it says pizza. And then down here, you can see that there's 10 of them. So you can use this if you have something like seeds in your game or something where if you plant them or eat it, then it can go down. And all you would have to do is change the amount attribute. And I actually did make an hour long tutorial on how you guys can make this own system in your game. But I figured you guys would just want the script and no one would really watch this hour long video. But if you guys do want this video, just comment it down below. I go through everything that I did in this script. So just let me know if you guys want that video. And that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. So if you guys do end up using this in your game, please like the video and make sure you subscribe because I'm gonna be making a lot more videos just like this. So thank you guys for watching.